This is Charlie Kayo with Travel Mall TV at the Focus Ride Conference in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida with Gareth Williams, who's the CEO and co-founder co of Skyscanner based in Edinburgh. Good morning. Good morning, T. Um, for, for me and for our audience, if you could just uh, give a brief background of what Skyscanner does. Sure. Uh, Skyscanner is a flight search engine. Um, we show uh, we show who flies where and what price the flight is on the airline websites on online travel agent websites we um, uh, we have about 16 million visitors a month to our site over 12 million unique monthly visitors and that's in about 30 different languages mainly in Europe but actually all around the world oh ah, that's uh, okay mainly Europe and uh, presume it includes low-cost carriers and, and, and yes. the regular carriers. Yeah, Skyscanner originally started off as a low-cost uh, carrier search engine, um, and we've got very good coverage there. We, we have virtually all budget airlines around the world available on the site. What are the challenges you, you face in um, today's environment? The challenges are probably in um, making sure the coverage remains up to date, accurate, and um, and current. Um, the it's a really big uh, search space, so all flights, everybody who offers a price on that flight, that's um, that's a vast search space to keep track of. So we have a lot of technologists working in Edinburgh, making that more and more efficient, and we have a lot of metrics that detect when there's problems and such like. Uh, what kind of innovation have you added to that search uh, uh, process yeah. for the user? Um, well, we can, we're always doing, um, trying out new things. And for instance, uh, we were pretty much the first website to show the, the month calendar views that allow you to see the price across the whole month. Um, and we also do a lot of things like heat maps. Um, we're working with free text and voice search at the moment. So there are lots of ways in which we want to turn um, travel search into a uh, more conventional um, uh, more conventional search process that people have got very familiar with doing, like for books, um, for electronics and such like. Um, from your user suggestions, yeah. wish list, mm -hmm. what's still outstanding that you think it's worth uh, uh, enhancing? It's, it's, quite a, it's quite a long list. Uh, <laughs> I would say uh, top of the list from our users is um, multi, uh, multi airport and open jaw. So being able to search from Edinburgh and Glasgow, or Edinburgh or Glasgow, to London or Norwich. Um, mm -hmm. But also open jaw, so you know I want to go um, to Marseille from Edinburgh, but I want it to be via Amsterdam um, and with a day there. Also business class. Um, we're not just about the cheap prices. We're also about uh, full information, and um, a lot of business travel travelers use us, and, and uh, people who book travel professionally as well. Um, um, this. Um I, Google, yeah. uh, uh, offering uh, flight search and such. Um, of course, they did their presentation yesterday. Uh, very cute about what he didn't answer. Mm -hmm. um, do you do you worry about it at night? Um, I worry about it during the day. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> um, what they do will obviously have an impact on the market. Um, but we're actually building uh, our, our own interface and system to um, match the speed of their limited routes in the US uh, and also uh, take the, uh, the things that we agree with from, with them from a UI perspective, um, user interface perspective. So um, we feel that um, Google is great uh, at search, but they're not infallible. And they're certainly not infallible um, in particular vertical markets. So there's still a lot to do. Um, we've had four million uh, app installs in the last six months, um, and so there are plenty of ways that people can find out about Skyscanner um, that doesn't involve Google, uh, and that will only increase over time. Um, equally, um, Google 
don't have budget airlines, for instance, low-cost carriers. Um, so there's lots of ways in which the quality of results, we can actually show uh, a, a bigger range of results than they can. And what are your growth plans for the next 12 months? Well, we've just opened an office in Singapore. Um, Ewan Gray is leading um, our operation out there and doing a fantastic job. Um, so I think with the growth in, in travel and the, the sort of dominance of the heavy routes there, um, that's, that's a really exciting opportunity for us. We're also uh, going to be making our data available to any website that wants to use it. Uh, through a data API and that will lead some really interesting people from the mapping community um, getting hold of tra transport data and using it in whichever way they want which historically has been very hard because you had to go to a GDS. So uh, you're making API add up for a fee? For the um, use yes, of but it'll be, um, it'll be uh, a very low fee um, certainly in comparison to the uh, to the standard cost of data um, as, it's, as it's currently um, provided, which is almost with guarantees of transactability. So you're providing the data, how about the search, the hit to the GDSs and No, it's just purely um, data. It's purely data that is um, cached and aggregated by Skyscan. Gareth Williams, CEO and co-founder of Skyscanner, thank you. Great to meet you, Charlie.